how did you, uh, how much do you, you know what I'm saying, spend on that kind of equipment if somebody wanted to start their own shit? Uh, the cricket, the machine I got is like 230. 200, uh, $230? Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought you about to say two thousand. <laughs> okay, say, nah, then. Nah, nah. okay, then. Do it. And the press like <laughs> the press I got like one six. <laughs> Can't do it, my guy. <laughs> <laughs> not like that's not like the price range oh, right now, no. right now. No, in general, fuck that. Yeah. Welcome back to the podcast, of young, funny, and black. We your host, man. It's Reek to my left. It's your boy Tank, man. Hey, and to my right, we got a special guest. Wiz, go ahead and just introduce yourself and just uh, tell them where they can find you at. Shit, my name Wiz. Got a clothing brand name Evil. Find me on IG, Evil SE. And it'll be on the screen, so y'all just get into it. But before we get into it, just just how y'all doing today? How y'all feeling? I'm straight. You chilling? Feeling good, dog. <laughs> just vibing. That's all I can say. Hey, um, but you know we are gonna have a good day. You know what I'm saying? We chilling, we vibing. Um, first question is we want to get into to your brand because you have a brand. Um, as you said before, what was your imp- inspiration to just when that made you want to start your brand? I mean, I've been doing this since like tenth grade, really. Like making shirts, but I ain't never had no brand. Right. But then I started listening to No Cap. I just heard that shit. It just yeah. word. I yeah. felt that. I felt that. All right. Let me. Um. How did you know? Like, what made you feel? You know, what I'm saying that like you starting your own brand was like the way to go. You feel what I'm saying as far as like listening to No Cap. Like, you feel me? How did you think that you was going to be successful doing this shit? I mean, really, when I first started, I was doing it for myself. But yeah. People started liking it, so I did it for everybody. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. love. Word. That's some love. So, so it was more people, like, seeing, like, wanting to be a part of it, yeah. something that you was doing. Yeah. Got you, got you, got you. Have you ever, like, what, what was the steps of really, like, what, did you like like you know what I'm saying like what what steps did you take to start your brand like when you when you first got it started after seeing people the feedback from people? Uh, really, I don't know. I just started I just started making shirts. But really, my homeboy had told me uh, I was just making a lot of customs. He right. told me to just drop something, so I picked the design, made it like three colors. Everybody bid on it, so I just started keep doing it. Mm. That's what does what does uh as far as your brand, you said the name of it is Evolve. What yeah. did what did you get the name Evolve from, and what's the meaning of it? I mean, love. It's evil. That's how I feel. Mm, that's some real shit, though. Mm. Some real shit. How even in which ways do you think? What you like? You know what I'm saying? Like, cause it's a it's a deep meaning behind it. You know what I'm saying? So like, yeah. how to, how that like? What kind of evil is it? I mean, like <laughs> love. <laughs> Like, you can love somebody, but you can, like, you feel me, still do some whole shit on them. Mm. Mm. That's you feel me? Fact. You can love them, but you feel me? Loyalty, that's when got down. You feel me? All right. You ain't gonna do no whole shit. So, you feel me? That shit different. Mm. It's a lot of motherfuckers <laughs> that do whole shit. It's a lot of people in the city that do a lot of whole shit. You feel me? Mm. I am full of. A lot of fake love. See that too. You know what I'm saying? I know recently uh, you did a collab with Mikey. Yeah. You know, Rude and Reckless. How did you, what made y'all want to collab on that? I mean, we did our first collab about four months ago, mm-hmm. something like that. And really, I mean, I hit, hit him up one day, got down seeing what he was doing. Right. I just got down and wanted to collab with him. Uh, I had asked him, do you want to collab? He said he was shit, he was with it. Or, so like, how do you how how um impactful are you when you come to designing your logos and stuff like that? Like, do you work with a graphic designer or like are you designing it yourself? Nah, cause I took classes for this since high school. I took two on um, right. ATC, so I already knew how to do everything. So really, when I jumped right in there, I was already you feel me? Right, I, already. Yeah, I knew everything. Feel that? I felt that. Mm. That's some real shit. So if say if somebody you know what I'm saying wanting to start their own little business. You know what I'm saying? Right. Do their own thing. Yeah. What would you tell them to be the first steps that they got to take to do that? Mm. I mean, stay confident. Don't tell nobody. I mean, don't let nobody tell you. You feel me? Mm. What's up with it? Don't let nobody tell you. If it's ugly, if you fuck with it, go with that shit. 
Was there ever a time where you thought your shit wasn't going to sell how you wanted it to sell? Or did that shit? I mean, all the time, really. All the time? Yeah. Why, wow, though? I mean... Your shit be hard that you be dropping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the the city fuck with your shit, so why you be feeling like that? I mean, I don't know. That's just how I always felt. Mm. Like about a lot of stuff. So how does that being in dealing dealing with the brand, like how do you deal with cheap people that try to, you know what I'm saying, try and be like, well, why are you selling this much? I'm your cousin, da-da-da, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I really really just block it out. For real? I mean, yeah, I tell him, I tell him I'm gonna do it, but really, I, don't, I ain't gonna do it. Facts, <laughs> <laughs> I can feel that. Yeah, dude. As far as I think this might be my last question, <laughs> but goddamn, as far as the as far as the brand, how far do you see yourself taking this shit? Do you see yourself, you know, what I'm saying, opening your own store with this shit? How far yeah. you see yourself doing? I mean, a couple stores, and really, it's gonna grow to something bigger. I okay. don't know what it is yet, but it's gonna be bigger. Mm. Okay, okay. Gotta go global with that shit. Your shit gonna, your shit gonna get up there, go crazy. Uh, so what? What have you learned? What have you learned from your business, like about yourself, about people, and just about the actual business of selling clothes? You know what I'm saying? Selling your brand. Uh, what you mean? Like what? What has like? What have you learned from? Selling, like selling, making, selling your brand. Uh, what have you? What has it taught you about yourself? About like the business of it and how people act. Uh, I feel like uh, when, when other people are doing stuff in the same city as you, like right. they make their prices first. You feel me? You gotta basically go up their prices until you feel me. You get your name up there mm-hmm. until you right. raise your prices. So really. They be expecting me to have the same price as everybody else in the city. Right. But you feel me? I, I want to raise it, but I got Right. It, you know? Yeah, I feel what you're saying. It's because it's a lot of a lot of motherfuckers still have that crab mentali- mentality. You know what I'm saying? They yeah. don't want to. <laughs> you got something? I don't. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, what you do, you feel what I'm saying? Some, some real shit. So, as far as the, the the circle that you got, you know, what I'm saying around you, the yeah. people that you hang around, and you know, what I'm saying the massage that you had before you start doing what you're doing, how can you tell the real from the fake? Because I know you got a, you know, what I'm saying a lot of bullshit that mm. go on. So how can you tell the real from okay. the fake as far as it comes to this love shit? I mean, them, I got a, I got a couple more them and a couple more. That's really all I hang with from the jump, really. But the, like some people. I, that I cut off type shit. Yeah, yeah. They still be expecting discounts and free shit sometimes. Yeah. And shit like that. Do you find yourself, like, do you see yourself now to, like, people try to latch on to you more just yeah. because, you know what I'm saying, you out here doing your shit? Yeah. For mm. real. Do you, yeah. do you like that love or do you just, like, I mean, it get old every time? Yeah, it definitely get old, but, I mean, it depends on who it is, though. I mean, I accept sometimes, but at the time, <laughs> I don't yeah. fuck it with it. Yeah. I respect that. That's respect, cause you know you got to make sure you see who be around you, cause motherfucker see see he got a, he got something near them, goddamn. Well, let me yeah. let me check on bro more than I usually do. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. you got to definitely that's definitely a good part of uh, moving right. You know what I'm saying? So what what other if you were to go big, who would you want to partner with? Like what stores and brands would you ever want to collab with in the future? V long for sure. V long, oh yeah, that'd be a dope. Yeah, uh, really? V long, cut the check. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Come cut the check. Yeah, Gucci too, on some other stuff. Yeah. Yeah. They gotta stop being racist. Out of out of out of all the brands, why you choose them two? I mean, V long. I mean, they made by black people, rappers, really. So, and they hard. So okay, and I like a lot of stuff they do. For sure. So, do you see yourself now? Do you see yourself? Showing more love to black business owners, or like just you just show love to everybody in general. Black, black, yeah. To be honest, okay, okay. that's real shit. Cause you know, make black everybody like have these legacies where they white owned businesses ain't got nothing. To, well, when you see black people build some shit, 
Yeah. It's special. I love seeing all the black owned businesses, especially that people created during um during the pandemic. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Just trying to get on. But like, um have other have have other people that have brands like reached out to you just trying to trying to um get a game plan on how like how to like how to get some steps in the game. Like what have you what have you done when people call you up and ask for advice? Yeah, a lot of, uh, a couple people be uh, like brands on Instagram. They be hitting me up asking for my manufacturer and stuff like that. Right, and I tell them. But other people in the city, they be asking me like um, how they started, what they need to do, what machine they need to get, and stuff like that. Right, and I be telling them. You got your so you you make your own shit or you send your shit off to somebody to get made. Well, no, nah, I make my own. own? Yeah. So how did you? Uh, how much do you? You know what I'm saying? Spend on that kind of equipment if somebody want to start their own shit. Uh, the cricket, the machine I got is like two thirty. Two hundred, like two hundred thirty dollars. Yeah, oh, okay. that bad. I thought you about to say two thousand. Okay, say, nah, then. Nah, nah. okay, then. Do it. And the press, like <laughs> the press, I got like one sixty. <laughs> Can't even do it, my guy. <laughs> <laughs> not like that's not the price range oh, right hell now, no. right now. No, nah, in general, fuck that. Yeah, but you gotta do what you gotta do, though. You feel what I'm saying? Though, For sure. To do what you do. So, what it like? How like how much time does that usually take? Like for you to do to make a design to make it come to life? Like how long does that process usually take you? I mean, really? What you mean, like make, put it on a shirt? Or just yeah, just design? like after coming from, okay, I, I, fin- I thought of design, yeah. and then I'm gonna just put it out on a, you know what I'm saying? Most of the time, I think of design like at nighttime when I ain't doing that, right. I'm just chilling. I just think about something I seen and put it together. Mm. Something you you uh you hand draw all your shit or you just like how you how you find your what you gonna get the designs and shit like that. I mean not like hand draw but it's like an app I use and mm. do it through there. That's okay. right. So let me ask you a question because you say you think of it at night when you chilling. Is it like your like your version of a studio session? Listen to some music like okay I'm gonna find some. You know what I'm saying? I mean yeah sometimes. Okay. I oh feel yeah, that. yeah. Sometimes <laughs> I feel that. I feel yeah. that. So, where can they um, where can they find your stuff at? First off, go ahead and plug your shit. Just go ahead and plug your shit, man. You know what, what I'm saying? Your IG. Yeah, your IG. My IG. Yeah, your, your website. Underscore, SE. My website. I'm gonna drop that when I get to like 600 followers. So like, a couple more followers. I'm gonna drop that. Okay. Bet. 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 Last one of the last questions I got. Got them. So as far as dropping, you know what I'm saying, merch, yeah. how much merch do you know to drop? How do you know if you know what I'm saying you're not gonna have too much like too much or mm-hmm. like too less? What you how you decide that? Well, I really order more smalls and mediums. Okay. Because mm-hmm. I, I get stuck with a lot of extra larges a lot yeah. of times. And larges sometimes, but larger you get going faster than extra large. Okay. Mm. Building that that's fire. Okay. I, I, that gave me a lot. I didn't realize how much background, like, because a lot of people see that you make the shirts or you had a shirt, but they don't know the back work that you have to put in yeah. before you do it. So, like, just when did you realize that you, like, what, did, like, how hard was it finding those steps? I mean, it went hard just observe it over time, like, seeing what I got left. Right. Yeah, see what, going, what got going fastest and stuff like that. How many times do you think you saw it? Well, you had moments where it was like, "Damn, like I'm tired of this shit," and like you just found that motivation and just keep going. Uh, you said how many times? Yeah. Couple oh, you times. don't really have them times. Yeah, a couple times. I mean, when the design taking long, like the machine taking long to do it, I get tired yeah. of it real, quick, real quick. I fuck with that. Especially if I gotta do it light. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, man. I might have to got down and fuck around and drop some shit, you know. <laughs> I'm going to drop some shit, you feel me? I'm going to hit you up on a collab. That's what we're going to do. We're going sure. to make a business move. Collab. We gonna shout the city. That's what we're going to do. Got to. No count. For sure. Well, this has been a great episode. We appreciate you coming on. Yeah. You feel me? Hey, so, hey, got down. Make sure y'all motherfuckers tune into the episode and shit, you feel me? Goddamn, yes. go plug in with his goddamn clothing brand because you ain't doing shit else. You for broke your sure. ass up. Go get some clothes for my nigga money, Wiz. Go, yeah, go tune yeah. into the website. Good episode for For sure. Shit going to be in the description, Instagram. Go leave a follow. Peace.